Well, just a few moments ago, we were talking about what a great day to have a parade for Cass Tech in Detroit. Also, great skating conditions out there. I mean, the ice rink open and you can see some of the skaters out there. Campus marshes 49 degrees. So it's not bitterly cold. And so we have mild temperatures right now as we're inching close to 50. These temperatures overachieving a bit today with overcast skies. And so that's the city. Now, as far as Metro Airport, we're going to trend a couple degrees cooler and you see that right here, but we're getting a little sun peeking through gross seal. So mostly cloudy, but not quite as overcast. Same sky conditions in Port Huron, clear conditions up towards Flint. However, we're all in the 40s at this lunch hour, and so we'll hover in the mid to upper 40s throughout the next few hours before sliding as we inch closer to sunset and beyond. In fact, tonight we should fall right to about the freezing mark. Some light snow will be possible. We'll have a light northwesterly breeze, but all of this begins to shift as we'll have some heavier snow bands getting in the later part of tomorrow. Winds will be picking up and whipping, blowing that snow and creating some significant wind chill readings. So we do have some winter weather alerts to bring you at this lunch hour. Winter storm warnings have been issued for portions of the UP, but it's going to be northern lower Michigan throughout the west side of the state, including Grand Rapids, Kalamazoo, under this winter storm watch. Here's the deal with this. We're expecting anywhere from four inches of snow to upward of a foot coming off of Lake Michigan in these areas under the watch. So it's just a matter of time that we'll see these upgraded to either an advisory or a winter storm warning. And those lake effect bands will work their way here to southeastern Michigan. So how does lake effect snow work? This is very typical for this time of year because the lakes haven't frozen over. So the setup you have surrounding land areas that are generally colder than the lakes. Some of those lake temperatures are in the upper 30s. Now we're talking temperatures by Thursday. that are going to fall into the 20s, but that wind flow pushes the air mass over the lake and the colder air then warms due to the lake temperatures. And that's also going to allow the air to rise because warmer air rises, but the moisture from the lake also will that forms the clouds and those clouds they have somewhere they need to go. And so that wind's going to push them inland and then all that moisture is going to fall to the surface as lake effects snow. So that's the scenario we're dealing with once again today, kind of deja vu from a week ago. So you see those lake effect snow bands off to the west. But as I take you through Wednesday morning, we'll probably see a few flakes flying, nothing prominent. It's after the lunch hour tomorrow that we start to see some heavier bands and mainly mid to late afternoon through the evening. So I'm going to stop the clock at 11. That's where you see some of the heavier bands on our high res models coming in, and that could dump a quick accumulation, but it's going to be very isolated where the thicker uh, snow amounts are, or bigger snow depth, shall I say, because of that lake effect snow. So generally speaking, I think we pick up about one to three inches across the area. Right now, that band looks like it could impact more so Livingston County. Wind gusts will be gusting closer to 30 miles per hour, taking wind chill readings below zero come Thursday morning. So that's why we have a forward weather alert late Wednesday into Thursday morning. Otherwise, we climb out of that and we'll be back in the low 40s by the weekend.